Good day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Just leaving Mount Dell and we're taking a nice walk to Brookton Shelter on the Bibbleman Track. This section is not too bad, it's fairly level, not much or I can't make there's hardly any steep sections on this one. The main thing you need is a walking pole and watch out for the honky nuts. The walking pole not only aids you and keeps you up when you hit a honky nut, it just makes it a little bit easier when you're hiking. We're almost an hour into the walk and we've only got 5.3 kilometres to go. So, fairly easy walk it is and I haven't been pushed myself. I've been stopping making videos. Just enjoying being out here. As you can probably see with the bug net, yeah, the flies are quite friendly, put it that way. Run well, uh, well, my December the 29th, 2022. So, Merry Christmas for everyone out there. And I hope you all have got a wonderful new year to come.
had a step on the log back there. Sent my pack out a little bit and they've had water coming through the hydration bladder. I think let's find that. Oh, I've lost it. Oh, it's all the way at the back. Well, it was where the other end of the pipe clicked into the bladder, hadn't clicked in all the way, so there was no water coming through. I carry a litre on the front, so that was okay, but I've just sorted it and I've got water flowing again now. Temperature's about 28 degrees centigrade at the moment. It's nice when you're in the shade because the cool breeze we've got feels cool, easy, cools you down. So you come into the sun, still got that breeze, you can feel the temperature go up again. So as you're walking through the trees, it's going up and down, up and down. But it's not too bad at the 28. Just check the uh, weather forecast for the temperatures. When I checked yesterday and this morning, it was saying 28 for today. I've just checked now, and it's saying 36. So I'm thinking what to do further to just take it easy, take a lot of breaks, and do what I've got planned. Or it would be better to get picked up. I'm thinking what I may do is get to the Brookton shelter and stop there because I was going to double hut and film the next section to Canning today. So let's see how it goes and see how I feel. I've got plenty of water. I've got, still got some water left on the front. I've got two litres in the back. And when I get to booked and shout, I'm hoping there's water in the tank there. And what I'll do is I'll top up the water bladder to three litres and I'll top up the front one. So if I do carry on to canning, I'll have four litres of water, which, as long as I'm not stupid, should be okay. But I'll tell you something, even with that going through my mind, it's beautiful out here. It's just so peaceful. You can hear the birds every now and then, you hear the cuckabubbers going, and then you got to hear the crickets. And every now and then you'll see the odd little lizard thing run across the track, or run up the tree and hide in a uh, in the crack of the bark. And it's just beautiful out here. And the sky is beautiful and blue, not a cloud in sight. See in a little while.
1.5 kilometers to go to Buckton Shelter. I feel the temperature warming up. It's actually going up pretty quick. With all the shade of the trees, it, it doesn't feel that bad. But when you come out of the shade, again, you can feel that it is warming up. Shade. I've walked this section so many times and every time I enjoy it. This is a section where you can just relax, take your time and just walk. I've been going for two and three quarter hours now and I've said 1.5 kilometers away from the shelter. It's a pretty easy section. I must admit I did miss one wall and added half a kilometre to my day. That, that's okay. I was walking along and I was wondering, Ooh, it's been a while since I've seen a wargle. Just walking down a uh, four wheel drive track it was been on it for a while. I must have stopped and taken a picture or something and I just carried on walking about looking up at the tree. Now when I got back I noticed there was actually uh, three wargles, one about 10 meters away, then one on the tree pointing off the track, and then one about another 10 meters up pointing up the track. So that was 100% my fault that one was. I think I'll take my own advice and keep my head up and <laughs> keep a check and enjoy what I'm doing. So I'll see you shortly. The shelter is about 150 metres away. I can see it to the bush there. I'm looking forward to sitting down for a while. This section <coughs> is not very difficult. The gradient is very minimal. And I did this once in two hours, and that was without rushing it. Today, I've taken my time and I'm up to 3 hours 15 minutes and I'm at the shelter so it's not too bad so I'll go in there, I'll sit down, rest a while and then I'll make my plans for later so I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have and you're not already a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button Click the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all future videos and if you are already a subscriber again i thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care <laughs>